uh, security guard take uh, the temperature of the student, the employee, and others who are entering the university. Okay, as you can see, is the campus map. Uh, the university is uh, the buildings of, and the, the buildings of the Katanduan State University, as you can see, are, are safe, well maintained, and functional because the university was given an award by the Civil Service Commission as the best smoke free and an Asari, Asaring Gaya Award in 2015 by the Department of Environment and Natural uh, Resources and the Dangal ng Kalikasan Award in 2012 given by the provincial government headed by the gover uh, headed by governor Joseph C. Kuwa. So that's it ano uh, then you can see oh, on the uh, screen of the Katsu right wing is the site development for the of the Katanduani State University showcasing the uh, different facilities that we have then after that then we have here the college of health sciences the home of our bachelor of science in nursing and bachelor of science in nutrition and dietetics program our uh, university, particularly the College of Health Sciences, is actually preparing for the limited face-to-face -face classes as they are already allowed by the CHED to opt to um, have this limited face-to-face. -face. So that is the building of the CHS. So as you can see, I know the rooms are air-conditioned. This is the College of Health and Sciences. Oh, sorry, the Office of the Student Support Services, headed by John Francis uh, Cyrus. John Cyrus Francis. And the um, Wellness and Fitness Center, the Katanduani State University Gymnasium. The Office of the Student Support Services for is located alongside the uh, College of Health Sciences, and it is the home of the Office of the Office of the of the Director for the Office of the Student Support Services and the Federated College Student Council. Uh, it is also used by students in their activities and other uh, academic-related. Uh, no, um, and next here is the CSU. MPC or the cafeteria, the canteen, where you can enjoy um, delicious uh, foods. Then we go straight ahead po, ano? Okay, so we are now entering the. We are now entering the Katsu Auditorium, wherein the um, artist of the Katanduani State University plays act, uh, as an actor and actress, actresses. The HRD building or the auditorium of the university is also an income generating a project of the university as 
uh, this is being used by private uh, groups or individuals by paying rent to the university. Kaya ho, med, minsan no, marami ho dyan ang kapasal and uh, activities like that. And of course, it is also being used by the university on its different events. Like conferences, uh, seminars, symposium, and other. Regional and international events so ay may nakandak na ho kami dito sa auditorium. So as you can see, the auditorium also has its own uh, water tank. Air conditioned. Fully air conditioned. And has its own uh, generator. generator and transformer. So we go now to the extension services. Okay, we come now to the extension services. Extension services office. The extension office also serves as the home of the director for extension services. Um, but this building actually is for uh, renovation or repair as the university already had its uh, plan to construct a 29 million building for the extension services. Then we go to the uh, gate number gate number three of the university. Duno palabas sa recent Christ or sa chapelo na nakapalubo sa land ng CSU or Katanduan State University. And sa tapato ng extension services building ay uh, yung ating uh, rice field. Uh, managed by the corporate business operations. This is a, a three hectare land. Where we have our uh, harvest of uh, rice. So now we go to the College of Engineering building. Okay, so this is the College of Engineering. The College of Engineering offers um, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering, Bachelor of Science in Computer Engineering, and two pog uh, College, the college offers two programs. Uh, the College of Engineering or the Katanduan State University is very well known for uh, top notchers for the Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering programs over the years. The College of Engineering is headed by Engineer Pedro T. Arcilia, Jr.
So we have here the three-story building of the College of Engineering or the laboratory building of the College of Engineering. Then after that, we go to the dormitory of the university or the ladies' dormitory of the university. Welcome to the university dormitory, ladies' dormitory. The ladies' dormitory is headed by Mrs. Josephine B. Rifulio. Uh, the ladies' dormitory is providing uh, decent housing facilities to uh, students and visitors. Actually, the ladies' dormitory is still under construction for its expansion. Then after the ladies' dormitory, we have the supply services. Sa tapato ng ladies' dormitory is the supply services. The supply services so is located at the back of the Katsu Gymnasium. Uh, by the way, oh, the Katsu Gymnasium also serves as um, room for PA classes then when we have the face-to-face -face classes. Mm -hmm. And it also serves as a venue for different activities of the universities, such as symposium seminars uh, for students and for employees and for other um, persons who would like to rent uh, the Katsu Gymnasium. This is also serves as IGP of the university. And as of the moment, the university is being used as a vaccination center in the province, one of the vaccination centers in the province of Catanduanes, accredited by the Department of Health. Okay, Jan, we go now to the laboratory schools. The laboratory schools nga lang ho ay merong merong uh, yan, meron na tayong mga nakaharang dyan kasi the laboratory schools is being it has its ongoing construction for a three-story building amounting to 83 million. So this is the ladies' dorm, ano? Next office will be the research. Uh, so we have here, Ma'am Ditas Manlangit, the... The faculty members of the Cal, uh, laboratory schools. Okay, so the next office will be the research office. Um, Surgeon, we um, we will request to please uh, enter to the research office. Research. Uh, this is the building of the research development services. The head is Dr. Jimmy Lintonio. Uh, 
Uh, we go now, Jan, to the College of Agriculture and Fisheries. Okay, we go to the College of Agriculture and Fisheries. Uh, the College of Agriculture and Fisheries actually is uh, ongoing construction, you know. So, as you can see, the different uh, agricultural machineries that we have, the tractor and uh, I think we have the harvester there. Uh, the College of Agriculture and Fisheries so offers uh, programs uh, Bachelor of Science in Agriculture. Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness. And sa tapato ng College of Agriculture and Fisheries is the Climate Change Building and the uh, Office also of the Abaca Technology uh, Center. And also, the building is the office of the Disaster uh, Risk Management Office. Uh, can we have a, can we, ano dyan, uh, medyo malapit tayo dun sa building para makita ho nila. Uh, and if we can have the inside of the office. Yeah. Okay, so we are now inside the office of the, yes, we have here the Center for Island Climate Change Solutions. Okay. Can we go out inside that, Jan, if? We have the director inside. And the uh, laboratory room for the Abaca Technology Innovation Center or the ATIC. And the laboratory room for and the different equipment that we have inside that we use in uh, innovations in product development of uh, abaca. Here, um, naman <laughs> Okay, so we now. Then. After that, we go to the uh, sports complex. The sports complex, we have the oval ano? and the uh, construction of the Olympic swimming, swimming pool uh, ongoing. Sige po, uh, pasok tayo sa sports, sports complex. At yung swimming pool. Uh, uh, dadaanan nun natin yung men's dormitory. Which is under construction. Pasok tayo sa... Hindi pa tayo pwede pumasok dyan. <laughs> 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 Dahil under construction no, yung ating men's dormitory. Sige. Yan. That is the men's dormitory. Which is uh, ongoing construction no. Uh, diretso lang mo tayo dyan for the sports complex. And we have the grandstand. Grandstand A because grandstand B ho ay i-co-construct pa lang. Yes po. 
Pasok ko tayo dyan sa Oval, ano? So that our creditors can see the development in the construction of our um, facilities and our commitment to provide to our students uh, facilities for... Yeah, so we have here the grandstand. Pasok tayo dyan sa Oval. Makakapasok ba? Yes. Papasok tayo. Okay lang ba pumasok tayo yan? Pasok tayo sa oval. Mid. Okay. Can, can we have the, ano? Yan. Yeah. So this is a rubber rice. Okay. Oval, ano? Is it okay to, ano? Is it okay to have a turnaround of the ah so bawal daw pala yung sakyan so, basta pakita lang natin that this is the uh, Ravirai Sobal of the university okay ah nakikita nyo yung construction ng machine doon so may swimming yung swimming pool na university ano ah, yung bakuhu dyan that is being used in the ongoing construction of the uh, swimming pool a long course swimming pool of the university. Under construction no tayo dito. And in the future, this may be used as income generating projects of the university. Uh, so that is the grandstand day. And uh, beside the grandstand A ho, I co construct ko yung ating grandstand B, which okay. So go tayo sa antayo pupunta na ngayon. Uh, materials recovery facility. Sir John, doon na po tayo sa Material Recovery Facility. Then we go to the Material Recovery Facility and then afterwards we go immediately to the poultry project of the university of the corporate business operations. Okay. Uh, the, ano, the materials recovery facility ho, ay itatransfer sa ibang uh, lugar sa dulo ng university because of an agreement between uh, barangays Kalatagan Tibang, eh, Kalatagan Tibang, where the university uh, resides, will also use. Okay. Uh, pasok na tayo dyan, papunta sa poultry. Dyan, poultry tayo. Punta tayo sa poultry project. Okay, we have the poultry or production area. Pasok ba tayo sa poultry area? So this is the building of the poultry production project. Yes, may manok ko dyan. <laughs> Kaso uh, because pwede ipasukin natin dyan pero uh, the poultry project kasi um, strictly measures also some health protocols. You have to but we can go naman dun sa ano. Uh, pwede naman natin pasukin yung egg sorting facility. 
Kahit dito lang mo sa unahan yan. Huwag na tayo papasok siguro dyan dun sa loob ng mga because of biosecurity. Hindi ho dyan dyan. Dun sa isang pinto. Ayan. Kahit sa labas lang. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, so, dyan sa loob yung ating egg sorting facility. You can open a slide. Yes. So, we have here a uh, staff from the CBO performing the egg sorting with our egg sorting machine. Okay. Sige. Uh, we go now or we go back to... Okay na, uh, Jan. We go back to the... Thank you, Sir John. We go back yes, now to the entrance nice. gate. For okay, the that is now the end for the Katsu right, right wing. wing. We go now to the Katsu left wing. Uh, we have, as you can see on the right wing, another building of the poultry production project. Uh, broiler, dito yung ating broiler production project. Okay. So, yung dire-diretsu dyan is the gate number gate number four of the university. Uh, Dakiri, dyan yung ating uh, rice fields din na nasa, yeah. sino bang ano dyan? The Pigiri. Okay now tayo siguro dyan sa right wing. We transfer now to the left wing. Hello John. Thank you very much uh, John ano, for uh, touring us. We go now po uh, to the Katsu left wing. Okay, on the left wing, we have here the torch, the university torch. Landmark of the Katsu for uh, this, the 50th yeah. uh, foundation anniversary. I, pwede nating ano, i-tawag dito? I zoom or i... Wait lang po. Uh, yan, sige. Pwede ba nating lapitan yung ating... Uh, landmark, Seisho Landmark or Katsu Landmark. The Katsu Landmark is <laughs> yan. Okay. Commemorates the 50th foundation anniversary of uh, the Katanduani State University. Okay. This year, uh, 2021. Okay, thank you very much. Then we go now to the College of Education. Okay, on this side is the College of Education headed by uh, Professor Eric Evangelista, Dean College of Education. Sige, pasokin natin yung College of Education. Pwede nating puntaan yung mga hallway po. Yes. Uh, pasok tayo sa Office of the Dean. Then, if pwede, pasokin natin yung uh, faculty offices. Yan. Okay. So we have here the College of Education. Pwede man nating pasukin yung ano? Uh, Office of the Research and the Extension the Coordinator and Faculty Room. Can we go inside? Yeah. So we have here uh, faculty members of the 
College of Education. Yung iba nga lang ho, wala kasi there are some faculty members who are uh, work from home. Okay. Pasok tayo sa Office of the Dean. So as you can see, we have the Office of the Dean here uh, signaling a Merry Christmas now sa kanila. This is the Office of the Dean headed by Professor Eric Evangelista. The staff of the and the uh, office, the accreditation center office of the College of Education. So we have here the hallway. A College of Education is also known for uh, its Church. top notchers in the licensure examination for teachers, both in the elementary and secondary, secondary uh, level. Uh, Bachelor of Science in elementary education and secondary education. Sige, uh, go tayo siguro sa University Cottage. Beside of the College Education Building is the University Cottage wherein the President resides. Uh, that is the university cottage, which is the yeah, home of our uh, SUC President Tree. Then, nandito tayo sa uh, nutrition. nutrition and Dietetics Building. Okay. Diretso tayo, ano? Sige. Yes, so we have here the nutrition and dietetics in the R rooms. Uh, we have here fire extinguishers in the hallways. Po. The nutrition clinic. Office of the program chairperson for the BSND. Uh, Professor Evelyn Romero. Okay, can we go inside the? Okay. As you can see, we have here the faculty members of the BSND program. Okay. Thank you. Sige po. Okay, next uh, route natin is the Radio Pilipinas. Hmm. The Radio Pilipinas is located beside the buildings and grounds services and motor pool services. The Radio na Pilipinas is uh, superheaded by Mrs. Arlene Odal Bagajong. Uh, the we go siguro inside the Radio ng Bayo, Radio Pilipinas. The Radio na Pilipinas is also a, a partner of the extension services wherein uh, ECSU earlings were conducted every Wednesday, 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, as of the moment siguro nga po, meron tayong uh, Katsu Earling ngayon because today is Wednesday and Katsu Earling so is scheduled every Wednesday. This is a program of the extension services where we have this information dissemination for the different uh, topics at hand. Okay, we have here the motor, motor pool services and the building and ground services.
secara umum apa sih saya ini oke so do The motor pool services is headed by the officer in charge, Mr. Larry Suniega. Okay. So the buildings and ground is also headed by the uh, engineer Rafael Jose Manugid. <laughs> Sorry, Jose Rafael Manugid. Sige po, uh, diretso tayo sa College of Industrial Technology. The College of Industrial Technology offers the following programs. The Bachelor of Science in Industrial Technology with different major fields of specialization plus the Bachelor of Science in Architecture. Okay. And the uh, the PG Tabuso building. Okay. Then sa likod ng PG Tabuso building is the library. Uh, yesterday, I think we already had the virtual tour of the library. Pero meron na tayo ongoing construction of the e-library. Pwede ho ba nating puntahan yung construction ng e-library or kung Pasukin tayo ng engineer. Okay, sige. Ongoing construction na tayo dito, ano? Okay. So, this will be the future e-library of Katanduan State University. Medyo. Then can we go to the hallways of the College of Industrial Technology? Po? This is the hallway of the College of Industrial Technology. The College of Industrial Technology is headed by Professor Edwin Romero. The Ata. Baka na walang hulang. So uh, we go back to the accreditation center. Okay. Uh, we'll just fix some uh, things dun sa Katsu left wing po. No? As... Yeah. Ayan na. So we have here the Katsu library. Dina tayo siguro papasok sa Katsu Library because we have already the virtual tour yesterday. Next. Yes, then next. Then we have here the rooms also of uh, laboratory schools, particularly the senior high senior schools. High. Then... Next route natin is the God office gender and development. So this is our God office. Pasok tayo sa God office if bukas. The God building is uh, office. occupied or uh, the God office is Used for lactation, ano? lactating center, and yung tapat niya po ay Office of the Federated 
faculty union. Okay, so we have here the Office of the Gender and Development Services. Okay. Actually, under oh, sa lobo ng ating gender and development is the lactating, uh, lactation, I should say, station, sorry. Sige, pwede siguro tayo pumasok kung wala naman nung Sige. Okay. And sa tapat nito ay is the Office of the Faculty Union President. Pwede ba tayo pumasok sa Faculty Union President's Office? Okay. Uh, the Faculty Regent of the Katanduan State University is Dr. Rosana Abundo. Parang uh, wala ho ata si ma'am. Yes, uh, maybe uh, Dr. Abundo is attending a meeting right now. But I can feel the Christmas spirit in the office of the Federated Faculty Union. Then we go now to the uh, main building of the Catanduan State University, the administration building. Okay, this is the back of the main building. Pasok po tayo sa main building. And this is the front. Can we get a full image or the facade of the main building, please? Okay, pasok po tayo sa main building. Pakita muna natin yung buo ano, na sa labas. Pwede ba? Okay, so this is the first floor. Our security guards entertaining um, visitors of the university. Meron din kaming thermal scanner wherein the visitors are checked and they are also uh, required to log in for monitoring purposes. So now we go to the second floor. This is the office of the... I think we can go to the... Can we go inside the offices, please? This is the office of the Administrative and Financial Affairs. Uh, pwede po tayo pumasok. The Vice President for Administrative and Financial Affair, Affairs is Dr. Dr. Maria Edna Arinigo po. Uh, Madam is here. Uh, yes, po. yung tumatayo doon at saka si, katabi niyo si OIC ng Building and Grounds. Then we go to the Budget Services Office. The Budget Services Office so is headed by Mr. Fredo Silot. Pasok ko tayo sa Budget Services. As you can observe, each office has its own uh, temperature checking and alcohol sprayer po. Pwede tayo pumasok sa ano, budget or sa accounting? Okay, this is the accounting office headed by um, Sir Romel Torres. Pwede ba tayong pumasok? Pasok tayo. Magpalaog. <laughs> Uh, sir, nakalak po yung, uh, yung office po. Uh, bawal daw po pumasok muna. Sige. Uh, so we go now to the cashiering services. Cashiering services is headed by Mrs. L.C. Verojas. Okay. 
Okay. So we turn around. Punta tayo sa Office of the Chief Administrative Officer uh, for Finance. And we have the Office of the Human Resource and Management Services. As you can observe, the offices are well lighted. You know? And the Sir, office. Yes. So Ian, yes, but check nga po nung repository of your documents. San po siya nakalagay? Or it's it's a it's a ho. Ah, pa check nga po. I turn yung apo ako dun sa ano sa HR niyo. Sige po. Um. Punta yeah, uh, sige. Papasok na lang tayo, ma'am, sa Office of the Human Resource and Management Services. Uh, Andun no kasi yung ating mga file for uh, mga 2 file and other documents of the employees. So, sige. Pasok tayo sa loob ng HRMS. Sige. So, the HRMS so is headed by Miss Marina Maria Shoni May Crispino. Sige, papasok tayo dito yung office na yan. Then papasok po tayo dun sa loob where in the 2-1 file and the documents are stored. Each, doc, each employee who has its own uh, ARC file where in uh, their documents and employment documents are stored. Pwede bang pasok tayo dun sa loob? Medyo parang yung signalo kasi ay umina. Sige, yan. Uh, Ikot tayo. Punta tayo dun sa mga cabinet na kung saan nakalagay yung ating mga records. Sorry po, medyo nagano siguro yung inter kasi nasa loob. Wait lang uma ma. Sige po. Sir Ian, mamaya po pagbalik niyo po doon sa budget, pasend po sa akin yung mga budget po for student services. Sige po. Noted, ma'am. Okay po. Sir, sorry po. Uh, mahirap po yung... Pwede bang kahit doon na lang sa hallway tapos? Uh, Apunta po ako ngayon. Success po. Pasilip na lang nung ano, nung kahit makita lang yung mga cabinet na andun yung mga file kahit hindi na pumasok sa loob. Is it okay, uh, ma'am, Marita, to just have some picture of the outside the office of the HRMS? Punta, sige. HRMS tayo po. Yan. So we have here the cabinets wherein the files of our employees are uh, stored. Each employee has its own ARC file. Yan ho ay nasa loob ho ng HRMS or the Human Resource Management Services. Is okay po. Thank you, ma'am. So, Sir, ha, yung, yung budget for student services, billing ko po sa'yo, ha? Sige po. Okay. After that, we go to the President's Office. Uh, we have here the... Of course, the security guard, the president's office. Pwede bang pumasok dyan sa... Yes, uh, nakapasok na sila, ma'am. 
Oh, the Executive Assistant Services is headed po by uh, Ms. Josephine Rojas. Okay. So this is the Office of the President. Okay. Yan po. Uh, sige po. Uh, then that is the Office of the President. Then labas tayo, punta tayo sa conference room. Okay, dumana lang usila sa presidents. Sige. Yan, so this is the conference room of the uh, Katanduan Estate. Can you please turn on the lights, all the lights? So the conference room is equipped with uh, Virtual equipment for, especially now that we are uh, having our meetings online. So, meron tayo mga mic and okay. and of course the comfort rooms, ano? Pwede natin pasukin yung comfort room. Kahit hindi na siguro, ano? So, this is the beautiful uh, conference room of the Katanduan State University. Uh, meetings are held in the conference room. Uh, some conferences also. Okay na. Third floor. We go to the third floor of the main building. This is also a faculty member of CBA. Okay. <laughs> uh, we go now to the offices of the third floor. San tayo mauna. Una tayo dito sa ISO Center. Sige. Okay. Sige. Uh, then pasok siguro tayo sa... Yan. Pasok tayo dyan. Okay. So we have here the accreditation... I mean the ISO Center of the university. Uh, the university is ISO certified 9001-2015. We have Miss Eileen Hunkulada as our document controller. Miss Eileen, can you please uh, show your ano? <laughs> kawai kawai naman jan, Miss Eileen. Okay, so Miss Eileen is there, the beautiful Miss Eileen. Okay. Papasok tayo sa accreditation room siguro, and the office of the. Uh, quality Assurance Officer. Okay. Sige. Pasok tayo sa Quality Assurance Officer Office. So we have here Ma'am Blizelda, no? Okay. okay. And, okay, so we have here the staff of the Quality Assurance Office. We have Dr. Edna Pante as the Quality Assurance Officer. And papasok tayo sa Accreditation Center. Okay, this is the Accreditation Center. Oh. Uh, we have here the faculty members, some of the faculty members of the College of Business and Accountancy. Can you make some, I know? Kawai kawai naman So, okay. Oh, thank you very much, John.
And after that, we go to the office of the back secretariat. So we have here the office of the back secretariat. Okay, so the back secretariat is headed by Ms. Sheila Kim Lumabi. We have here Mom Sheila Kim. Okay. Mom Sheila, can you make some uh, noise? <laughs> okay, so we have your mom, Sheila Kim. Okay, nawala, nawala ko yung ating katsu left wing. Uh, susunod do sa ating katsu left wing is the... Sige, diretso lang mo tayo dyan, ano? Punta tayo sa Office of the Graduate School. So we have here the Office of the Graduate School. The concurrentine of the Graduate School is Dr. Lili Pico Studio. Uh, the university is offering various programs in its graduate uh, school uh, for the College of Business and Accountancy. For example, we have the Master in Business Administration. For the College of Arts and Sciences, we have the Master in Public Administration. For the College of Industrial Technology, we have the Master of Arts in Industrial Education. For the College of Agriculture and Fisheries, we have the Master of Arts in Agricultural Education. And for the uh, College of Education, we have the PhD in Educational Management and uh, Master's Programs in Education also. We have here Dr. Maria Charlene A. Cantar, the coordinator for education uh, program, graduate education programs. And the coordinator for, non, for other... Uh, graduate school offerings is Dr. Jovert Balunsal. So we go now to the Center for International Relations headed by Professor Romulin Govella. As you can observe, the hallways of the main building is marked with um, our rules for us to strictly observe health protocols. You know, one meter uh, social distancing. We have the alumni placement services. The alumni placement services is headed by Professor Maricel Carriazzo. Okay. Pasok tayo sa... Okay. This is the alumni placement services. We have Ma'am Marisol Cariasso po. Thank you, Ma'am. The management information services is just beside the, ano, no? the alumni placement. Okay, so we have here the management information uh, services. Of course, the management information services um, staff are those who help us in this kind of uh, online accreditation, particularly on the setting up of equipment, the Zoom. So we are very thankful to them. Uh, headed by... headed by Mr. Joey Kasim.
Sige po, uh, balik na tayo or punta tayo sa planning. Punta tayo sa planning office. So the planning office is headed by Dr. Bernardino C. Abundo Jr. Dr. Bernardino C. Abundo Jr. is also a faculty member of the College of Business and Accountancy. Baka nasa meeting ng si Sir June. Sige, uh, can we have the record services? Record services office. Uh, the records management office is headed by uh, Miss Anjali Malihan. So we have here the staff of the records management office. Then we have the legal services office. Or before ng legal services office is the office of the public relations. Okay, sige. Legal services tayo. So our legal officer is attorney Nico Ray Manlangit Santilisis. Where is ma'am? Where is attorney? Ando nung si attorney sa loob. Okay. Thank you. And have the internal audit services. The administrative officer five of the internal audit is engineer Rafael Santilisis and our internal auditor uh, three is uh, Miss Maribel Sape. So that is the office of the internal audit. And we go to the audiovisual room. So this is the audiovisual room of the Katanduan State University. Uh, this is also being used in different activities of the university, as meetings, trainings, uh, seminars. And equipped with a sound system and a bids and awards committee meeting. Thank you, John. And we go to the office of the public relations. That is the last office that we will have for the uh, third floor. Then after the third floor, we go back to the uh, ground floor for our medical and dental guidance uh, office, uh, the office of the two VPs and the security services and the uh, registrar's office. So this is the office of the public relations and information office. Okay. So, baba tayo sa baba. So as you can observe, oh, may mga mission vision oh, tayo na nakalagay sa mga halls natin, ano, quality policy. So this is the Ondra. 
This is a gallery of distinctions for our top notchers from 1979 up to 2014. Up to present, uh, sinasari din ho natin yan Babaho tayo sa ground floor for the Office of the Registration Services. Office of Admission and Registration Services. Uh, we have the janitorial services, the security services. Saan tayo mauna? Punta muna. Uh, hindi na. Sige, yan. This is the security services. Pwede ba nating pasukin or kahit hindi na dyan? Sige, pasok tayo dyan sa security services so that our... Because the... Parang nawala yung connection ng ating... Okay, asa na sila? Sige, papunta na tayo sa registrar's office. Yung atin ho palang security services, andun ho nakalagay yung monitor for our CCTVs in the uh, university. Okay, pasok ko tayo sa Office of Admission and Registration Services. Uh, by the way, the security services is headed by Dr. Ryan Timbal. Then our Office of Admission and Registration Services is headed by uh, Prof. Ma Marilyn Tejada. Uh, first, the Office of Admission and Registration Services is the office in charge for uh, students' enrollment, um, records, showance of transcript of records. and repository po of our student records. Can we go to the... Sige, we go to the Office of the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Pasok tayo siguro dyan sa Office of the Vice President for Academic Affairs. Our... Uh, Vice President for Academic Affairs is Dr. Lily Pico Studio. She will be the staff of the Office of the VPAA. So currently, they are in a meeting. Okay. Uh, actually, the Office of the VPAA and other members of the committee is evaluating uh, faculty Documents for promotion and NBC uh, 461. Sige, then go tayo sa Office of the Vice President for Research, Extension, and Production Affairs. The Office of the Research, Extension, and Production Affairs um, is the one in charge of the research, the extension, the business operations, the international relations, the climate change solutions, the ATIC or the Abaca Technology Innovation Center of the university. Nawala ho yung ating CSU left wing. Sir Ian, sorry po. Uh, mahina na po yung signal po. Banda po dun sa may guidance po tsaka kay, kay, kay BP Rep pa. Can we go to the clinic, John? Saan po, sir? Clinic. Medical and Dental Services. Okay po sir. Thank you po sir. Under construction.
Okay, sige. Uh, under construction na doon ating medical and dental services. Yun yun. Yung, sige. Okay, so, okay. I uh, think that's for the main building dyan. Okay, so this is the medical and dental services. Then we go now to the corporate business operations. Okay, so next building that we are going through is the corporate business operation headed by Mr. Ian V. Aranel which uh, a, faculty, a faculty of the College of Business and Accountancy. He is also a certified public accountant. So we're the grounds of the main, uh, tapat na ating main building. Ang CBO po ay tapat lang po ng gymnasium at likod ng main building. So you have here the corporate business operations. Ah, sir, dyan, dyan muna po tayo. Then pasok po tayo sa CBO. So this is the entrance. So we go to the marketing office, please. So first floor, first floor po. So sa office po muna tayo ng CBO director. Ito po yung office ng CBO director. Staff. So we have here uh, our staff entertaining uh, various clients. So. So. Sige, punta tayo sa marketing office dyan. Sa first floor. Uh, the corporate business operation so is the uh, has its photocopying services as one of the IGPs and uh, we have here the marketing office of the corporate business operations wherein we showcase the products of the university from its uh, agricultural activities, uh, the eggs and uh, we have also uh, chickens and some uh, produce of the shared service facilities of the university. Then after the CBO, we now have the covered court. Uh, this is our covered court. Covered court is used for various activities like uh, presentation, of student, uh, used by the student, sports. It is also used for um, in athletic uh, games such as basketball, volleyball. Yeah. Uh, as you can see, oh, the Katsu covered court is uh, for repair because it was uh, damaged by the uh, typhoon Roli that hit Katanduanes last November uh, 2020. So we now go to the science laboratory building. As you can see, this is the science laboratory building. Under the College of Arts and Sciences, Headed by Dr. Rene Torres. 
the laboratory building who houses the office of the dean of the college of arts and sciences plus the office of the faculty members of the college uh, the natural sciences department of the college of arts and sciences in the mathematics department of the college of arts and sciences okay uh, laboratory building medyo mahina lang ho yung ating signal siguro uh, the laboratory building also houses the different uh, scientific equipment that is being used by our biology students and some other students nursing students and some other students who have their uh, classes like biology and uh, science related subjects then after the science laboratory building we will go to the college of information and communications technology building the college sorry, sorry. Ng, ng smartphone po. yes jan sorry lang, okay. Sige. Next building is the College of Information and Communications Technology, uh, he headed by uh, Dr. Gemma Acedo. The College of Business and Accountancy use um, seven rooms in the CICT for computer laboratory. We go to the computer laboratory rooms Jan, so that our creditors can see the so this is the faculty room of the college of information and communications technology So we have here the bulletin boards for information dissemination and a thermal scanner before entering the faculty room. Then beside the, yes. So, and beside the faculty room is the office of the chairperson uh, of the Dean of the College of Information and Communication Technology, Dr. Gemma Acedo. Is Dr. Gemma around? Andyan ba si Dr. Gemma? Yes, so we have here Dr. Gemma Acedo, the Dean of the College of Information and Communications Technology. And can we go inside to at least one of the computer laboratory that we are using? Okay, this is the computer laboratory utilized by also utilized by the College of Business and Accountancy. Yan yung mga computers na ginagamit po ng mga estudyante. Uh, meron din pong projector and the college is also fully uh, air conditioned. Yan po yung TV and projector. And accreditation room of the College of Information and Communications Technology. Okay. So there you have it. We go now to the College of Arts and Sciences. Then after the College of Arts and Sciences, we go to the College of Business and Accountancy Building, where we have the BSBA and the BS Accountancy programs. Punta muna tayo dyan sa College of Arts and Sciences. Before we go to the CBA. Okay, this is the newly constructed College of Arts and Sciences building. Yes. Uh, ongoing. As you can observe, the building conforms to the requirements of uh, PWD. the laws on PWDs you know, because of the ramp that we have. Okay. 
And it is uh, noteworthy to note that uh, there will be a solar panel a system that will be constructed on the rooftop of this building. Pwede ba nating pasukin yung mga offices ng College of Arts and Sciences? The College of Arts and Sciences so is a service college of the university for courses such as uh, Filipino, English, uh, social sciences, uh, mathematics, uh, natural sciences. In this building, oh, we have the... Cas Building B, ongoing construction nyo siya, pero nasa baba ho yung ating mga offices ng Social Sciences Department and the Languages Department. Okay. So, yan. Can we go inside the room? We have here the Social Sciences Department, the faculty members of the Social Sciences Department. Uh, some are, yes, we have the department chairperson, uh, Professor Josephine Torrente. And languages department to tayo. Languages department is headed by Dr. Susan Tindugan. Yes. Okay, after this CAS building is the CBA building. So we are now done with the CAS building. Uh, CBA is our last stop. Uh, beside the College of Business and Accountancy building is the Entrepreneurship uh, Laboratory building. Okay. Okay. Hindi halang ho tayo siguro makapasok dahil uh, nakasarado. Punta na tayo sa main, sa CBA building dyan. Yan, sige. Uh, welcome to the College of Business and Accountancy. Uh, yes, as you can see, the College of Business and Accountancy is equipped with uh, thermal scanner and alcohol uh, to properly observe uh, the strict protocols as imp uh, implemented by the Department of Health plus the logbook for our uh, visitors and students. Then... Yes, as you can see, the mission, vision, the mandate of the university is also are also posted on the walls of the uh, College of Business and Accountancy. And the faculty members profile is posted. So can we have a focus of the pictures, please? Yes, and the program objectives of the uh, program offerings or the program outcomes of the program offerings of the CBA. Can we have the program offering for the BSBA and the Bachelor of Science in Business Administration, John? Just a focus of the, I know, the program outcomes. Okay, balikan na lang siguro natin. So we have here... So we have here some students. Actually, these students are busy doing their researches and have some consultation with our faculty members. Yes, this is our open space study center. 
Uh, so this is our study area po ano. And the College of Business and Accountancy is equipped with a ramp uh, inside, of course, inside the building for uh, to cater the needs of the PWDs. Ano? Okay. Uh, these are the rooms of the College of Business and Accountancy. Can we go to the function hall? Punta tayo sa function hall dyan? Sa second floor. Okay. Ah, sige. Third floor siguro tayo para sa mga student organizations offices. We go to the office of the Junior Philippine Institute of Accountants, Katanduani State University Chapter. So, meron din no tayo. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have here the office of the JPIA. Uh, JPIA is um, an organization awarded by the Regional Council as one of the most outstanding local chapters you know, over the previous years. Then, yes, we have here the trophies. Okay. Sige dyan. After the office of the JP, I will go now to the function hall of the College of Business and Accountancy. Okay. Uh, okay, sige. We have the student body organization office. Third floor pa rin daw dyan. Yung ating SBO office. Dun sa unahan ng JP ya po. Uh, the Office of the Student Body Organization also houses the Junior Financial Executive, Junior Marketing Association, and the uh, Human Resource Student Association of the Philippines, Katanduan State University Chapter. Oh, these are the organizations were in our BSB students are members. Okay. Of course, the university's administration is very supportive of the students' activities and the role of students in uh, the development. Okay, we go to the second floor. Uh, the CBA building po pala is a third story, is a three story building. Punta tayo sa function hall ng College of Business and Accountancy. Pasok tayo sa function hall. Sige. So this is our function hall. This is our function hall. We used it for our meetings, events, small conferences. Um... Uh, the function hall are, is also equipped with uh, uh, equipped for health protocols. So meron po siyang uh, naka-cubicle po siya para merong social distancing. Sir John, pwedeng pa-focus po ng ano, uh, mga cubicles. At yung projector, yan. Opo. Ayan po. Yung TV, yung whiteboard, yan, yung projector po. Uh, this projector is an interactive projector wherein uh, the faculty member can write on the board.
we go now to the first floor. Uh, on the first floor of the CBA building is uh, are the offices of the dean, the department chair, the accreditation office or room, the faculty members office, research and extension services office, the office of the alumni officer or coordinator and the guidance uh, facilitator. And of course, our very own faculty lounge. Okay. So we have a faculty lounge for uh, the faculty members so that Okay, so let, let us have the offices entered one by one, ano? Sige, so this is the office of the accountancy department and accounting related courses. So in the College of Business and Accountancy, we are offering uh, BS Accountancy, BS in Internal Auditing, and BS in Accounting Information Systems. Okay. So these are the three accounting and accounting related courses of the College of Business and Accountancy. So these are our hardworking faculty members. The program chair of the BS Accountancy is uh, Professor Sally Morales. And after the accounting and accounting related, accountancy and accounting related courses, faculty members office, we go to the office of the business education and management, the faculty members of the business education and management. As you can observe, all the rooms of the CBA have, each room have its mission, vision, uh, goals, and objectives of the university. And also the program outcomes of the uh, program offerings of the CBA. Medyo mahina lang ho yung internet sa building, kaya natigil tayo. Pero... Sige dyan, pasok tayo sa Business Education and Management Office. Okay, nakalapas na sila, no? so, We go to the office of the ano na, no? the business education and management office, the faculty members of the business education and management. Uh, the BM is chaired by Professor Jonah D. T. Tugano. And we have here Okay, uh, Kuyo, we can you please uh, use your camera to to have as a tour of the accreditation room, please? Yeah, so spotlight, yan ano? A spotlight. Pwede bang paikot ng camera? Uh, or laptop, paikot na lang yung laptop. Uh, Kim, can you make, uh, can you please turn the, 
uh, um, can you have the desktop uh, rotated so that we can see the okay pero papasok na siguro si Jan ano okay uh, si Katsu Sibedin sa office so tayo pupunta so we have here the staff of the accreditation office of the College of Business and Accountancy Sige, uh, we have here the files of the College of Business and Accountancy for the different programs that it has, the accreditation files of the office. Ano? Okay. The accreditation. Okay, so we have here the organizational chart. and the uh, functional chart of the College of Business and Accountancy. Okay, can we go to the Dean's office? And can you have a picture of the mission vision posted in the dean's office, please? Pakita as para makita ho ng mga accreditors natin yung mga mission vision and goals posted on the uh, rooms of the College of Business and Accountancy. Yan. Okay, wawi pakita as naman yung ating camera for the mission and vision. Yes. Uh, there you have it. The mandate, the vision. Jan, are you I know uh, connected na? Tige. And we have here the bulletin of information, the vision, the mission, the goal, the core values of the university. Then we go to the office of the dean. I mean, yes, we have here the staff of the college offices dean. We have Miss Julie Ann Villarreal, you know? and of course we have here a filing system of the CBA wherein uh, the documents are stored. Okay, and we have here the office of the dean. Pasok tayo sa office of the dean. Pasok ko tayo sa office of the dean. Uh, may kung may kita nyo, medyo may mga balloons pa ujan, dahil lo ang aming dino ay nag birthday palang huno October two. And we have here the pre, uh, past deans of the College of Business and Accountancy also posted on the dean's office. Uh, former deans. Of course, we have our present dean, Professor Esperanza P. Sanuat. Thank you. Okay, so we have here the room of the dean. Then after that, we go to the faculty lounge. Faculty lounge, tayo dyan. Sino na ba yung mahawak ng camera? Okay, so we have here the COPC, uh, Certificate of Program Compliance of the different program offerings of the CBA. So, and the COD, uh, our BSBA program is a center of development uh, in the Bicol region. Uh, we only have two center of development schools in the Bicol region. One is Ateneo de Naga University and the other one is Catanduan State University. So this is our faculty lounge. Faculty lounge is equipped with, so we have here the sofa, the dining table. The kitchen po of where the faculty can rest. In the sofa. Okay. 
Yes. And of course, our faculty lounge is now has the spirit of Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. Sige, we go to the... We go now to the research and extension office. <laughs> yes. We have here the research office. The research office houses the uh, a research and extension who ito. Uh, the extension officer or coordinator of the college is Professor Maria Concepcion uh, V. Marquez. And the uh, research coordinator is uh, Professor Glenn Paul R. Lopez. So we have here some of the researches of our students. This office is also the repository of the different researches uh, conducted by our students. And of course, our research office also has its uh, internet connection where faculty members and students can browse when they are conducting their researches. And we have here the Office of the Alumni and Guidance. Okay, John, uh, you have now the camera. Can you focus on John? Okay, so this is the alumni and guidance office. Our present alumni coordinator is uh, Professor Maria Concepcion B. Marquez and our guidance officer or guidance coordinator is facilitator, I should say, is Professor Alice Rojas. Okay, then we go to the office of the chairperson for business education and management. So the same with the other offices in the college the Office of the Business Education also signals the coming of the Christmas season. Also. Okay. Okay. So we have here the Office of the Chairperson for Business Education and Management. Then we go to the faculty office for our contract of service and part-timers uh, faculty member's office. Okay. Sige, pasok ko tayo dyan sa office na ating mga faculty members, our contract of service faculty members. Okay. Uh, can you... Ano? Uh, ano ba? <laughs> wave. Final wave. So these are our committed faculty members, contact of service faculty members. Then we go to the office of the business education and management faculty office. So we have the faculty room of the business education and management. Again, the business education and management department is headed by uh, Professor Jonah D. T. Tugano. Our office, of course, is well lighted. Okay. 
And okay, so we have here the faculty members of the College of Business and Accountancy. And for the last room that we will enter is the CBA stock room. So this is our CBA stock room. Uh, we have here the supplies and materials of the College of Business and Accountancy uh, are being stored. And that is the last stop for our virtual tour for this morning. Can we have one classroom, John? Isang classroom lang. Kahit isang classroom lang po. Okay, so we have here uh, a room in the College of Business and Accountancy. This is room 20214. Of course, we have here a television that is being used by faculty members for uh, and students, of course, for presentation during class discussions. Um, Okay, so that's the end of our virtual tour for this morning. Uh, I hope uh, our accreditors enjoy the tour of the Katanduan State University. Thank you very much. And uh, good day po. Have a take. Hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Okay na po, sir. Thank you very much po. I uh, will just send po the documents that you requested later or the numbers that you requested. Although the number ho of the guidance counselor and the area in charge were already sent ho by a private message in the Zoom room. Thank oh, you. Po, sir, nakausap ko na po yung dalawa. Okay, sige po. Thank you very sige much. Po. Can we now ano po, end the meeting? Or if you have some questions po? Sir? Yes po, sir. Uh, we are on record, right? Yes po. Uh, is it possible to request for the copy so we can review it later? Uh, the recorded copy po of this... Uh, of the virtual tour po? Yes, sir. Thank you po.
Okay. So, thank you very much po and have a good day everyone. Thank you to our PR team and of course also to our MIS team.